from the sky, they fell, and a radius of death slowly creeps from it, a problem that will need to be dealt with. A fabrication bench awaits its crafter. The components necessary to construct the internals of a lightsaber lay still for now. And slowly but surely, over the coming days, the climate here will slowly but surely shift. Shoulder. Legionnaires Rike on here and welcome back to Rimworld and to the Rule of Two. We are here at the Temple of Tulak and we are going to be taking a quest. This quest that is going to expire in 16 hours if we don't take it. It is for the Twi'leks and, well, a site nearby will start changing the climate here. There may be an unknown threat there, but I imagine we can handle that. We are going to accept it for this prestige recon helm which will be really good i think for ken when he arrives back home but we do have a rather pressing matter this defoliator has nearly reached our tree here so i feel like we're probably going to have to deal with it and i've been thinking about those grenades the ones that we lost and oh is that our reward? I think it is already. Well, look at that, fantastic. Let's just get this put away for now. But yes, I was thinking about where those EMP grenades could have gotten to. I mean, where oh where could they be? I imagine they might have been on the body of the Ewok that we brought back. There's a chance that uh, they were carrying it. That's the, honestly the only thing that I can think of because I know that we brought them with us. So we might have to crack open one of these graves yet again. Oh, there they are. I'm pretty sure that's, yep, Shodu, Shodu. What do you got? Nothing. So unfortunately, they're gone. They are gone. Very much a shame. Oh, and there's Mike. Hey dad, how's it going? Your children have really done something with the place. Well, while waiting for Kin to return, we've had Esme, who is the leader of the Jabba clan. They've told us about a volcanic pistol that's nearby, an item stash. Okay, it's, uh, it's a little out the way. Not too bad though. You know what? That climate adjuster is really close to Kin. He could probably go straight to it right now. You know what? I think we're gonna, we're gonna redirect. Let's uh, go and approach that. Ken, I hope you can take care of it by yourself. Oh, and a frigate has landed. Okay. Oh, another of the emergency nullification mechive whiskey. They've got two down here now, so we certainly have to make an effort to destroy them because the mechanoids are just going to be getting stronger and stronger otherwise. Well, he made it there pretty quickly. Ken, let's see no threats on the map this is the climate adjuster here i mean there may be things waiting for us inside so we'll be prepared for that eventuality an ambush of course of course it is how bad of an ambush british short hair cats it's just a whole heap of cats i did see some others around yeah it's it's just a whole heap of cats well you know what let's just open this here um Right, temperature plus 10. Yeah, if it was making things cooler, I'd be down with that. But unfortunately, it's making things uh, just a little um, wilder. Uh, yeah, let's go and... Sorry, cats. Oh, we, we missed? All right, Ken. All right, you can, you can do this. I believe in you, my friend. He's going to get a few scratches here and there. Oh, I mean, more than a few scratches. Damn. 56. Well, it's a good job we are actually working on armor or researching armor back at home. That was, that was nuts. Uh, any of them still alive? Nope. And, uh... <sighs> the cat tore his frickin' eye out. Oh, man. And he's got sand in his other eye. Well, I guess you're gonna be matching your sister, except it's gonna be the opposite eye. I kinda, I, I love it. It's very... <laughs> God damn it, Ken. Um, okay. I need you to tend to yourself and, like, proper tending. Well, it's incredibly slow tending, like really, really slow, bleeding out in six hours. So come on, buddy, you, you can do this. I, I, I believe in you. There we go. Eight hours. That's a bit better. Left eye torn out. Jeez. Messy. Very, very messy. And we'll get this dealt with. And you know what? We're going to have to make you a bionic eye. Meanwhile, back at home, we've got a royal tribute collector, which is kind of good, actually. We do have Llama here, who I was intending on 
doing something with, sacrificing or whatnot, I guess we'll just be sending you on towards them. And as for this fabrication bench down here, we're going to go and make ourselves a, a new eye. Oh, we got the eye as a gift. We didn't actually make it. We can't make them yet. We don't have bionic replacements for that. We could research it, but before we give Lama away, we could maybe try and do a little surgery. Jin, hop to it. Unfortunately, we can't, we can't take eyes. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, Lama, I guess, I guess that's that then. And I suppose in this instance, it's going to be Jin. That is going to be making the trade here. Right, obviously, so we can send quite a few people here. Lama, excellent. We do actually get something for sending you on. So, congratulations, Jin. You got yourself a little bit of extra uh, honor for it. And how close does that get you? I think you, you're going to need a little bit more than, than what you've got at the moment. Dame at seven. Okay, Praetor, you are going to need another three. Or rather, did you lose honor? Maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, we need three to be able to get to Praetor. Which means that we could send someone else on over towards him, but we need everyone that's here. Well, Ken is still healing himself, and he's, he looks like he's kind of a little blind at the moment but he, he's he's managing he he is managing somehow uh weirdly i can't see the radius of the defoliator anymore which i don't know if it's just too big to see i don't think that's the case weird not sure what's going on there ken had been having himself a little bit of a rest but that rest is now done we're going to bash apart this climate adjuster and get this lad back home and lagrange has decided to kill fox well, I don't know what you did, Fox, but LaGrange is, uh, LaGrange is pissed, and he does actually have, yeah, I forgot about that. Jin, all right, LaGrange, I'm real sorry about this. Oh, wow, that, that did it. Just, just to strangle is enough to do it. Jin, <laughs> let's, let's just check and see that he's going to be okay. Um, how's that, how's that damage? Just a bit of asphyxiation. Yeah, and we can fix that ear, so... <laughs> We'll get someone onto that. And there we go. All done, Ken. Fantastic. We will allow all of those things and let's get back home. An Imperial Weapons Provisioner is arriving from the Galactic Empire. They, they are going to have some good stuff. I imagine we'll try and purchase a few things from you, Chloe. We can't afford all that much here. Just the DC-15 blast rifle. We're actually going to sell back our Imperial credits to them just because I don't think they're going to be that uh, useful at this stage. We could buy the blaster, but I think we're going to hold on to our silver and we're going to try and use that for something else. There's the screen. Well, I guess the radius is still expanding. We just can't see it anymore. And the animatry is screaming, which is going to affect everyone on here. Minus six mood. Ugh, we're going to have a bit of a time. How long is that lasting for? Let's see. Five days. It's a good job we got those fine meals. And Ken has thankfully made it back. Buddy, just go have a proper rest. Um, want you resting until healed here. Well, thankfully, Lagrange is back to health, which means that uh, we might actually be able to get some work on the sabers done. Interestingly enough, we want to do some high flesh carving, which means that maybe Ken lost his marks. It's entirely possible. Let's just see. Target Ken. Yeah, he needs to get marked again. Okay, well, we'll do that once you've had a little bit more recovery time there, my friend. We could also send him out to try and see if we can find any wild animals that we could drain for health. The mechanoids, we are going to deal with you. I mean, there are a whole heap of boom lobes here, but I, fe I feel like they might attack us if we try. Oh, it just straight up blew up. It straight up blew up and Ken got a whole heap of health back. I I'm okay with that. And the others are chill. Um, let's just go put out that fire first, huh? Emergency descent. Ah, I see. The Fallen Empire wants to land here. The Suffering Party will attack. We can get some honor for this. Honestly, for the honor, I think is worthwhile. That could get Jin up to being a Praetor as well. So we're going to accept this and we're going to accept it for Jin. That should be enough honor to push you over into being a Praetor. There's the shuttle crashed on down. Okay, we need to keep you alive, so we'll be ready for the Suffering Party to show up. And, uh, I reckon we can take care of it with Ken and Jen and maybe a Lagrange too. And the Suffering Party is here. 
Hi, hi, hi. And there's a whole heap of them. They're pretty close. Let's go ahead, get deployed, get moving. Fox, we need you here too. On the double, we're going to try and use this as cover as much as possible. Um, I say that, but we're probably not. We're probably going to go out into the open and try and see if we can use our force powers to help us out. And as for Lagrange, we're going to get you to go right out over here because uh, his shots are going to be super dangerous. Okay, force rage. Let's go ahead and enrage uh, Grack down here. <laughs> oh, failed. Well, that's a uh, that's a tough Ewok. All right. Well, let's let's make sure that we take you down. Lightning. Excellent, Jin. We're going to force choke our friend here. Excellent. That's another down. We'll go for a choke over here on Alex. Alex is down. <laughs> I love how Force Choke seems to be, you know, really good at doing just that. Uh, knocking people down. Ken, let's get you moving up so that you can get a bit of a drain off, get some health back. Come on, move up, move up. Okay, let's go for Graves. Good. Lightning on a cot back here. All right. Fleeing, fleeing. That's good. Graves computer. You're a computer, Graves. Okay. Yep, sure. Sure, we, we'll, we'll accept that. Uh, Jin, let's get you moving up. We want to try and see if we can stop as many as we can from leaving because, you know what, they're going to be useful to us. So same thing over here. We're going to go and force choke uh, Graves, maybe. There we are. Graves is down. Okay. And the rest of them are probably going to get away at this point, which I'm all right with. You know what? We're just going to go and drain Alex here. He's still alive and Ken is back to full health. Brilliant. So let's go do some uh, some rescuing. Go ahead and capture these folks. Oh, it looks like Graves decided to get back up. A poor decision, if I've ever seen one. Um, let's just go force choke. And ah, there we go. You're feeling better, aren't you? Oh, and that is a good weapon. Fantastic. I do like these raids because we end up getting some good blasters out of them. We're going to go and haul all of those back. Ah, and the new shuttle has arrived. Fox, let's deconstruct this one, see if we got any goodies. They're all going to jump in, fly away, and just like that, Jin can become a Praetor too. So we've managed to save all of their lives. We will be able to do a few different things here. Okay, we've actually got another conversion ritual. First thing we are going to do, though, is uh, this one here. Ken, you need a new mark, my friend. All right, he has a new mark. What is that? Oh, a, a mark on his on his prosthetic leg? Scarification. Okay, interesting. Huh. And he's getting taken over to his bedroom. There we go, spectacular. All right, that'll help with moods <laughs> a little bit. And actually going off of that, we can do the public execution as well. So let's just have a quick look at these folks and see what we've got. Pessimist and kind, hmm, you won't last here. A little bit of shooting skill here. Okay, another pretty tough Wookiee, but uh, Cot Wave. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be you. A volatile slob, cold inclined. Yeah, nope. Time for a public execution, I think. It's not going to be Ram. Definitely not going to be Ram. Cotway, 95% chance of a decent success from this one. Oh, Fox is in a daze. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, Fox. Buddy, I know it's, you know, it's tough. But it was satisfying. So people did enjoy that to a degree. It's a hard time, I know. I know, you're adjusting to becoming a Sith, my friend. It'll be okay. Happy to see that Lagrange is making the parts. Slowly but surely, it's coming together, folks. Oh boy, we've got a plague. A plague among our animals. We're going to have to make sure that they get some treatment here. I am sure they will get everything they need to survive. So checking in on our research here, we are working on flak armor first of all, and then bionic replacements. There are some interesting things that we can get in here, like the Bosque suit. So we'll probably end up making something like that. It only slows movement slightly, so I feel like that's going to be better for our Sith. Eventually though, we will get into recon armor, and then eventually marine armor, so we can start getting some of that stormtrooper gear. Oh, and some pilgrims have arrived. A whole heap of them in actual fact. They are here to visit the talisman. Look at them all. They're having a good time. Right, I think it's time for another conversion ritual. This time, hopefully, a lot more successful. Saber, come on. We've got to get you on board. And there we go. Effective. Okay, okay. Certainty is down. It's on its way. We'll keep on trying, Saber. We will keep on trying. And there is a little something else that we can do. Something that I would like to do with both Graves and Alex, but once they are fully healed. So we'll let them rest a little bit further. But they're going to be the first to try out this little temple here. Yes, we can do a trial of power. 
which is different from a proof of power. That's when we just get two folks to face off in the arena. Hey, the suffering party lost a location. Good news. And it's to the Twi'leks as well. All of this stuff doesn't really matter too much to us at the stage because eventually we are going to be turning on everyone. Every one of these settlements will fall eventually to the Order of Umbaru. And we've got a nice little duet going on here with Ken and Saber just chilling out. We'll have an eye for you before too long, my friend. Work has started. And as you might be able to see, this is a cross hilt Saber. A lot of work, and it's also getting made out of uranium. I hope it's a good choice. I think it's time to do a little bit of thing. Inspired creativity as well? Oh boy. Lagrange, if he finishes this in time, might make a masterwork Saber. I hope so. The ceremony has started, Jin, and there we go. Now a Praetor and Prodigy trait? Whoa, 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 whoa. Decent trait. Natural scientist. Okay, interesting. They research things much faster and recall things better. I think you're gonna have to take over Saber's role there. Even though Jin's intellectual skill isn't super high, Prodigy will definitely help with that. The mental break threshold really helps too, but the research speed increasing, that's great. What do we have? Wall rays. Form a temporary wall by skipping rubble and soil from deep under the ground. Useful, I might think. They're healthy. They are healthy. And it's not too late tonight. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna run this little thing. Trial of power. So we have a speaker. Duelist dies, weapons used. Increases the quality. Right, so we might actually have to have weapons in there for them to use in this instance. We could just put some blunt weapons in there. Yeah, that might be the way to do it. Obviously, it's not going to be those two fighting. It would be Alex and Graves that would be fighting. Let's just see if that changes it at all. Doesn't seem to. The expected quality can vary a lot. If, if someone dies, oh boy, it's a good time. I think we'll try and put some racks there, or at least just have two weapons on the floor. Well, we have our two clubs in place. We'll wait until the morning. Excellent. Our research on flak armor is complete, so I'll see what I can make for us. So we're going to be using these Bosk suits here, these ones specifically. They are a mid layer. They cover a whole heap. They've got decent armor. So we're going to have one for each of our folks. And that also means that we can still wear the Sith robes over the top. We do need to have a more decent kind of over the top armor because right now we're just using the the wooden armor something better than that would be nice well it's the morning i think it's uh i think it's time let's have a look at this trial of power okay there are weapons so i think they will choose to use them or not it also gives melee experience to folks and it fills recreation seems like a win-win so alex versus graves Let's see how they do. Time to begin. The trial of power is beginning. As they are being brought over. Let's see how the fight goes in here. Okay. Uh-huh. Talking about life and drama. When's this fight gonna go down? I guess there's a there's a bit of talk that has to happen beforehand. Oh boy, yup, they've picked up their weapons and they're uh, they're going at it. Okay, a good hit from Graves to start with. Oh, looks like Graves has this under control. They're blunt weapons, so it might not lead to death, but there's always a possibility. Back and forth they go. Clashing weapons against each other. Ooh, Alex taking a big hit to the air there. Graves really seems to have this under control. I guess this is a good way to test out colonists. <laughs> and just like that, uh, Alex is down. And I think they stay down. All right, they get taken away, but the ritual is continuing and a boring trial of power. I guess it's boring because they didn't, they didn't die. A minus one. Okay, well, I guess I have to rethink the, uh, the club method. Maybe the club method might be better for our actual proof of power. Because, yeah, using the lightsabers is a, a choice. They're not finished yet. I guess that would determine who gets the first lightsaber based on who wins. It says it is a battle to the death, but who knows? I think we need to leave that up to fate. We do, we do. We'll let them get tendered and, well, I think before we do the proof of power, we'll need to take care of this problem that's been here for a while now. Oh boy, and the suffering party are here. Well, hey friends, 
Hey, there's a whole heap of you. You're wearing like a ghillie suit, I think. Nice, you're just wearing a full-on bush. Okay, folks, wake up, time to move. Okay, so we have one supplemental fighter this time. Vac is gonna go pick up the swarm missile launcher and <laughs> we're gonna put that to the test. I'm sure it's gonna be perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. You know what, I wonder if you can get an early shot off Vac. Oh, they're coming from both directions. Of course they are. Okay, okay, their numbers are pretty big. I wish they could have uh, stirred up the hive a little bit, but yeah, well, here we are. Here we are. So I'm hoping that they'll get a little bit closer and we'll be able to push in here. At least that's the plan. What are we looking at on range for this thing? So the Grange will get you moving back. The mechanoids have woken up. Oh, oh, you did cause a problem. Michael, how about you just go get back inside? Yeah, let's see. They seem to be protecting it. Ken, you've taken a bit of damage there. We don't like that. Let's take down Scimitar. Okay, good work. And Jim, let's go for a force rage on Freckles here. I feel like that'll help. Okay, success, brilliant. Vac, any chance that we can hit them here? We can. That's what we like to see. Let's stay behind cover just for the moment. Okay, Vac is lining up a shot. We deflected a shot back there quite well. Do we want to jump over the edge yet? I don't know. I don't know. I think I want to try and let this fight just unfold a little bit more. They are kind of still fighting each other, which is great. We could just do a few force chokes here, which should theoretically do enough to completely wreck them it seems. Freckles, let's take you out now. Okay, the Swarm Missile Launcher is uh, wild. Fox, let's get some attacks in here as well. Okay, another lightning off towards this one. Excellent. And let's just start doing some drains. Jin, Master Drain on Zealot. Okay, draining your health. I was gonna say we'll choke you out, but we didn't need to in the end. Vac, you are holding up nicely. Excellent, we love to see it. I think I think they're kind of just on the run now at this stage, so we'll move on out. Looks like we're gonna get a few weapons from this. Um, Vac, let's please stop firing. Um, actually, you know what? Drop the weapon, I think is probably gonna be the right call. Yep, there's no one else here at the moment, so just <laughs> let it go, please. And Ken, maybe just hold back for a second. Well, we destroyed a whole heap of equipment. That's fine. Ken, let's hit them with a lightning, please. Excellent, and we'll choke Scimitar. This is running away. Excellent, so, uh, the mechanoids are awake now. Are they gonna head down towards us? Maybe not, it looks like they're kind of staying around the defoliator. Which means for now, we'll take this time to rest and recover. Jin, let's have you pop outside. We're gonna do a master drain on this boomalope. Sorry, Zale, sorry. I forgot it was such a big explosion. Hold still, hold still, hold still, hold still. There you go, there you go. You're fine. We will put out that one as well. <laughs> They're not actually ours. They're just like hanging about. Kin, we could uh, get you to heal up too. Ah, uh, you'll be fine. Ah, uh, plants have started dying because of the poison. We are going to have to deal with this issue sooner rather than later. The weapons that they have are, you know, quite decent. I was really hoping we were just going to be able to get a raid coming in from this way and get them to fight each other. All of that jazz. They're not going to want to leave this uh, at all. We might be able to hit it from a distance though. We do have some quite long range weapons. So this heavy blaster, that gives us some pretty serious range. Vac, I think you are our best shot. We're gonna get you to equip that one. And we'll just trial this out. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get you moving into a position where we might be able to get a shot. It's, it's a pretty decent range, but I'm worried that you'll still be in range to them. Oh boy, Jin. Let's, let's not do that. No, 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 no. Head back now, right now. Go around this way if you have to. Get gone. Vac, let's just see how this works out. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be able to see you. Oh, we're close. Close, but it's not quite enough. We can definitely shoot at them from here, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's enough to maybe bait them away, which if we can get them down here, that's exactly what we want. So, yeah, you know what, Vac? Keep on trying to bait them out. All right, a little close for comfort there. Okay, enough to actually hit that Lancer. Just making sure that they're not actually taking shots. Okay, another hit there. I mean, yeah, they, they don't seem to want to leave this thing. They'll certainly come out and attack, but they won't do more than just that. 
Back for now. Right, I feel like it's about time that we deal with our enemy up there. So, let's get prepared. We'll get up front here. And back, I'd like to bring you along, but we can't right now. You're on a bit of a sad wander. That's fine. We can we can manage with that. We're going to be using our aid here to call in a trooper squad. And let's hope, let's hope they're going to be uh, at least decent. Yep, they're on their way up there. So we're going to start moving up there as well. See if we can maybe get into that position there. And ideally, we're going to be able to just kind of mind control some folks into attacking each other. Oh boy, what a mess. What a mess. I, I don't even know if we're going to be able to get all the way up there. We might have to go for a closer position first. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's try and do a force rage. Okay, failed. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, let's go, let's go over here for now, folks. Get moving. Oh yeah, that's not good. We'll try and just do a choke here. And move on. And let's go for another force rage. Oh, okay, deflecting back a little bit. That's good. Can get to cover, please. Oh, please get to cover. Yep. Um, we'll do a drain once we actually get to cover here. Lagrange, same thing with you. Fox, into cover, please. We're gonna drain this one. Jin, we'll get you popping your head out for a moment here. We'll do a drain as well. A drain over here, maybe. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Pop back behind. Jin, yep, they are fighting each other, which is exactly what we want. Jin, let's get you moving up. Your force rage should be ready, and we'll get it on this one over here. Excellent, another success, and Lagrange should be able to just attack from behind. Nice, Fox, let's get you up there supporting. As soon as we can do another Force Rage, we will, but we'll just start moving up with the rest of the group. They definitely know something's up here. I'm just going to lean out and do another Drain. Excellent, back behind, and jumping out for another Rage, and fail. Unfortunate, back behind for now. Let's just take it nice and easy. Ready for another attempt? see what we can do. Okay, is it a success? Yes it is. Get back behind, that's good. They'll keep on attacking each other. If this one pops around here, it's going to be their own fault. The Grange will get you moving up just a little bit further. Excellent, that's a much better position. And we'll just slowly whittle them down like this. Another rage would help. A fail, that's unfortunate, but we can work with it. While they're distracted, we might actually be able to just leap out here and attack. And see if that's going to be possible. Stun. Let's go and attack over here. And good work, Kin. Let's move across to the other side. They're kind of chasing each other right now. And we'll move across with Jin as well. Fox will get you to hold your position. And the Scyther is now ours. But Lagrange, yeah, you're in a little bit more trouble. So let's actually get you to uh, just back off for now. We'll go around this way. It's better cover. Excellent. Ah. Oh, Fantastic. There's just two left now, and I think you're still maddened. You're not maddened, but uh, we can we can try it in a moment or two. You know what? We might not even have to. Let's uh, do a force choke here and get Ken ready to just push out an attack. Excellent. Both of you move in, and Fox will get you up here for support. Yep, they're chipping away at it right now. Nearly there. Nearly there. And Fox, Fox, let's take down that Scyther, please. Okay, a good strike. Cyphers can be deadly, but Fox right now is a little bit more deadly than that. Help out here, friend. Excellent. And just like that, we're done. Now, I don't know if this is going to explode. We'll start attacking it. Once it starts to get, you know, close to death, I think we'll back on off. Oh yeah, nearly dead. Okay, leave the rest to Lagrange, please. Ivan, chill back there for now, please. And there we go. Done. Dusted. Oh boy, finally, it's removed. Umbara, thanks for hauling those bodies away. Ken really has a Thor look going on at the moment with that prestige helm finally on his head. Yeah, looking, looking cool. With three force points available with Ken as well, we are going to pick up force choke. So it is now a master skill. And I think we are close to being able to get force storm. I believe we're going to have to go further with force drain here. That should allow us to get the, the big one here. And the prime image has been completed. This big old thing, which we're going to get installed in here somewhere. Now, where's a good spot for this? You know what? The corner isn't actually all that bad. 
Hmm, you know what? Yeah, I think we are going to put it just to the side of the reliquary here, because eventually what we will have is obviously the reliquary on the other side, and I'd like to maybe do another prime image over there. Let's have a look at the art though. This was done by Ken. The work represents Mordecai placing uh, Sarah Space General's body within a grave and consumed in thought. Seven mouses rest nearby the scene. Okay, boarded by two surgeons. It's, this is Mordecai burying Sierra out, out here. Interesting piece of art there, Kin. Well, it seems like Vac has uh, had enough. <laughs> so we're going to have to move in and try and uh, put a stop to this. Sorry, Vac. Let's please make this gentle. All right. I think, I think that helped. Nothing missing. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, rescue. And we'll need to try and remember to keep weapons out their hands for now. Finally, we can do another conversion ritual, which we are very much in need of. 59%, come on. We can do this. Kin, let's get Saber on our side. There we go. Much better. 51%. Saber, we are... We're getting there. You're on your way. And the reason why it's important for us to get Saber to join us you know, as a member of the Sith, is because of her intellectual skill, her social skill. She's going to be a very, very good Sith overlord. She would take in the job away from the Grange. Ram has converted. Now a member of the Sith. Oh, it took us a while to get there. Time to get some recruiting going. Oh, damn. Word of inspiration. Komodo, thank you. Now that's a gift from our folks that came to visit at the start. It is going to be, let's see, what level? Silink 5. Ken, what are you at at the moment? Level four, but he is on his way there. They're both, they're both level four. Okay, we'll get it hauled. Uh, we'll be able to get that on someone. We've got word of trust, word of love with Jin, so maybe we'll teach that uh, to her. We've had a combat supplier visit, and we're going to pick up this prestige cataphract helmet. Uh, that helmet is going to be going to Jin. As Ken got the first one, the second's got to go to Jin. These helmets are, well, they're prestige, so it works for them with their current roles. And, uh, yep, Jin is kind of locked behind that helmet at the moment, but it's an intimidating look, that's for sure. Well, I was hoping to have them fire off at the same time, but we're not quite there yet. This needs a lot more work, and unfortunately, we're out of time. But we aren't out of time to see this thing ignite. Kin, please make your way down here and equip this lightsaber okay we've got it now it needs a crystal so let's go pick up this one here or rather equip it uh-huh it's in there and now let's see Ooh. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. we have our lightsaber and um yeah we can't quite see where his hand is it doesn't quite line up you know from far away it does and that's perfectly fine which, you know, I think considering how long the mod's been around for, how many changes there have been, this animation mod probably does some things to it too. But look at this thing. And if we have a look at the gear and at the saber itself, let's see. Yeah, that's some pretty good damage. The crystal is great. Oh boy. Oh boy. I like it. I like it a lot. So Kin... You're the first to be wielding a saber. As soon as this other saber is done, we are going to have that proof of power and they are going to be using the sabers. Whether or not they'll have all their equipment on, I don't know. I think we'll just go back to the Sith robes and let them duke it out. May the best Umbara win. And with that, our episode comes to a close for today. We dealt with a lot and we got this place looking real nice. But as ever, there is so much to do. Blood will be spilt as the sabers ignite, but that's for the future. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, may the Force be with you.